Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel or back to the channel. My name is Jelly Bean. Well, that's what I go by. And I built out this 2008 Kia Sorento as my camper van to live and travel out of. And as you can hear, and I am down kind of uh, in a little hidey spot. It is windy today. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Over here, you can barely see anything over there. It's uh, from all the dust and everything in the air. <clears throat> when I woke up, uh, well, when I got out of the car earlier, uh, this way looked like a dust storm coming. Now you really can't. You can't really see it as well. But uh, today is obviously going to be a day where we're just sitting in the in the bean pod. We're going to um, basically just watch Netflix. Uh, YouTube's a little rough for me. Um, I don't really know what I can do today. I don't want to drive to town. I just drove two days ago and it just doesn't make sense just to drive to drive so I think today guys is going to be a uh, a uh, sit in the uh, pod and just uh, enjoy a down day where you don't have to do anything you know some days it's nice just to sit in the in the uh, in bed basically and watch uh, TV and movies all day so alright guys um, yeah maybe we'll talk to you a little bit later but yep yeah. Today, it's like a day anywhere at your place. It's cruddy as heck. You're going to go play in the yard? Nope. You're going to sit on the couch. Guess what? Today, we're sitting on the couch. Hey, guys. So, today has been just a wash. Uh, it was windy as heck. Uh, it's finally dying down as the sun goes down. Uh, if you if you see in the picture, crossed in the, <clears throat> excuse me, Imperial Dam, it's still a lot of dust blowing by, but over here with the trees, it's kind of keeping me out of the wind a little bit. Plus, I'm hiding behind the bean pod. First thing I want to say, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you all. For getting me above 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe that you guys are willing to watch me. And like I said, I'm trying to do better for you guys. But, and I'm also trying to show what real van life is like. So I'm so happy. And thank you all for watching and subscribing. I don't know why it is. Every time I talk to you. But thank you. The other thing I want to say real quick, I'm just going to watch sunset and I'm going to go eat dinner and go to bed, but the uh, the canopy setup that I left in Quartzsite, uh, it's been taken care of. I was going to drive back uh, to Quartzsite to take care of that, but a friend of mine who I met in Quartzsite, who was a subscriber, and thank you, Jane. Uh, she wanted that, so I didn't drive back to take care of it, and then uh, some friends I met that were right around the corner from me, again, Terry and Kurt, thank you so much for that Christmas gift, it was so nice uh, for you guys to think of me on Christmas, and it's been taken care of. Thank you all, so that I did not have to drive back up. But I would have. I would never leave stuff and never go back and take care of it. Um, I was upset when that stuff happened. So I just want to let you know that it's taken care of. And like I said, I would have driven back up. And again, thank you so much, Terry, Kurt, Jane, and everybody else for... And everything I mean, anybody's ever done for me. Um, I got great friends back in Maine, Mike and his and Stephanie, who are great friends of mine. You know, they help me out um, all the time. You know, it's it's great to meet great people. 
But, all right, guys, I'm just going to watch the sunset, and then I'm going to eat dinner and go back in the bean pod and enjoy uh, just basically a day of doing nothing. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. And it's noon. I still haven't gone out there. Got down to freezing last night. Um, I shut off the heat in the bean pod at like 4.30. I was kind of, I was warm. It was like 60 something degrees in here. Um, and I just had the pilot going. I woke up, I fell back asleep. I woke up a little while later, it was 46 degrees in here. Yeah, it, it cooled way down real quick. So, uh, it's only going to get to 50 couple degrees today, guys. So, I'll be honest with you. I don't think we're going doing a darn thing today. Um, same as yesterday. I mean, the wind was blowing all day. It was cold. You know, finally in the evening, I sat outside for a little while and kind of watched the sun go down, and that was it. Um, I, I do have to find today... If I walk down the road, there's a rock I can sit on and I can get enough internet to, uh, like check my business out, my financial stuff, you know, things like that. Things you want to check on a daily basis or at least every couple days. Um, and I do have to do a couple things for the weekend on that. Uh, so honestly, I think that's all we're doing today, guys. Um, it's like I said, it's only going to get to 50 couple out there, um, I don't see a real reason to hang out outside. So I think tomorrow we're going to go to town. Um, so maybe while I'm sitting on the rock, I can uh, check something else to do. I think I'm going to try to get up real early tomorrow and get in into town early. Problem is I end up normally waking up like at 2, two o'clock in the morning because I only get like a couple hours sleep. And then I stay up until like 5 a.m. And then I, then I can finally fall asleep for another couple hours. I just can't, I just don't sleep through the night very well. Um, so I think we're going to, we're going to try to do that tonight. We're going to try to, you know, go to sleep a little later, but, uh, excuse me, I could take a nap now. Um, yeah, so we're just, I'm just going to do business today in the, in the bean pod pretty much. Um, well, I got to walk down the road to, uh, try to get on just the regular internet there's no way i could upload or doing a video no no way in heck but uh at least if i could do my my business i'd be happy but uh yeah you know again guys everyday van life you know it's it's not bells and whistles and rainbows and unicorns and you know there's lots of days i'm sure you're sitting in your sticks and bricks and you just hey i'm gonna sit in my rocking chair my my easy chair or whatever i'm just sitting in front of the computer and Play video games, whatever, you know, whatever you do when it's just cold and dreary. I mean, it's gorgeous out. It's sunny, uh, blue skies, just cold. Um, it's supposed to start warming up. Like I said, I think maybe towards the end of this week, we're going to probably head somewhere else. I'm thinking uh, maybe Phoenix. I'm not sure yet. Uh, maybe check the weather. Some people have said I should go to Mexico for my dental issue. It's not a bad idea. But however, with this car built out into a camper van, um, I mean, I don't have drugs in here, trust me. Uh, but if I was a Border Patrol agent and saw this coming through, I'm thinking you're trying to smuggle something, dude, because you know, they're just shit. Excuse my language. There's stuff jammed everywhere, you know what I mean? And if they started wanting to tear this apart, uh, I mean, that's my build, you know what I mean? Because there is a space underneath the uh, water cabinet and refrigerator. It's only like this deep. It was for like the uh, locking lug nuts, the four-way wrench, the jack... Uh, or the wheel upper lower lever thing. Um, just a couple little odds and ends. It's a really bad use of space. I don't know what else you really would use it anyway for. Like I said, it's only a couple inches deep, but I'm sure 
you know, Border Patrol knows what kind of spaces are in these cars. Me trying to cover all that up? Well, I mean, I didn't try to. It just, I mean, it's is what it is. That's my trunk. Um, I'm sure they'd want to rip this thing apart. Like I said, I ain't got nothing in here. But that ain't going to matter as they're ripping everything out the, the ass end and, and throwing it aside. You know what I mean? So I just, I just really, I would love to go to Baja. Um, I thought about that, but as soon as I thought about, you know, crossing the border and this thing, I mean, it's, it's not like a regular van or, you know, uh, RV. I mean, even in a self build out conversion, converted Sprinter van, I mean, you've made cupboards, things like that, you know, and, and you could get into all the spaces, uh, you know what I mean? All right, guys, I'm going to leave that little montage alone. Um, I think I'm going to get dressed here and try to go find me a little internet so I can, you know, work on the uh, computer a little bit while well, my phone, just to check out my stuff and maybe try to research a couple things. But all right, guys, if anything happens today, we will show you. Um, I may foam or felt these back uh, porthole window coverings. It's awful cold though outside. I don't know. I mean, it, low forward at fifties, uh, you know, so I don't know if we'll do that today. Um, not really bothering me much anyways, and I'm not trying to stealth camp. Sorry guys, we're going to go to town tomorrow. Uh, show you where we didn't do laundry and stuff. Now, uh, we might try to look at the, uh, the jets taken off if we can or cannot, you know, tomorrow. So, all right guys, we'll see you in a few. All right, guys, so we did our chores for the day. Uh, got our little business taken care of. Wasn't happy with it, but uh, just thought I'd mention real quick, my solar panels were covered. I mean, yeah, I should have taken a picture beforehand. I didn't, um, but I drew my finger in it. And, you know, it was horrible. Um, I was looking for something that kind of would be about as dirty, but the car is not even as dirty. Uh, I was getting 174 watts on my three panels before I cleaned them. After I cleaned them, I was getting 175 watts. Same, basically, exact, you know, exact same number. So I'm not sure how often you really need to clean those solar panels. I mean, it would make sense the cleaner they are, but uh, I mean, they were covered in a thick film of of sand, and uh, you know, I cut, I cleaned them, and there was no difference. So. All right, guys, yeah, it's just a beautiful day. I think I'm going to sit down and just relax and watch the water for a little while. So, all right, again, anything happens, we will show you. All right, guys, so I decided today, since it's been cold and windy and not a lot of stuff on this video, I decided to go ahead and cook my dinner, and these things are great. Udon noodles. Okay, you'll find them in the ethnic area, Japanese kind of thing. Uh, they're excellent. I love them to death. So, we're going to go ahead and cook dinner tonight on the stove. And we're going to go ahead and talk about being in van life for four months okay I left my job in Maine in September have to come in here and get some more uh, utensils and hopefully this is the last time we're using country crock because I hate it I really do um, is what it is it just cruddy stuff but so while I'm cooking um, I'm gonna use some of the meatballs uh, Adele's the uh, pineapple chicken meatballs that I've told you guys are excellent I'm gonna cook these up with some udon noodles some Parmesan cheese and the, we'll say butter. I wish I had real butter. 
And as y'all have told me, I understand I like real butter, but I just, you know, got to get it used up. I don't want to throw it away, but I'm getting to that point because it really is not very good at all. All right, guys. But while I'm sitting here cooking, I thought I'd talk to you guys about four months on the road in the bean pod. And I've enjoyed it. I've loved it. It's great. Um, <clears throat> would I recommend, excuse me, would I recommend living in a Sorrento? Sure. But, you know, if you can get something bigger, hey, is what it is for whatever you enjoy. But, so for four months now living on the road, I've been happy. I enjoy being out in the outdoors, and I love traveling. I really do. Unfortunately... I don't have a lot of money, so it's hard, you know, to travel if you don't have a lot of money. Now, would I recommend going to uh, van life thinking you're going to make a lot of money on YouTube? No, you're not. You're not going to make money on YouTube. Odds are, you're never going to see a dime, okay? I have not seen a dime from YouTube, and that's fine. I love it. I don't care about it. Um, obviously, if I had one of those great channels that uh, have 150,000 viewers or subscribers and things like that, yeah, maybe you would make money, but I will, I will honestly tell you, most people do not make money on YouTube. It's not going to happen. My, my traveling life as it is, I love to travel and I love sharing it with you guys, you know, whatever I can share and show you and again this is real van life it's it's not like I always say unicorns and rainbows and all that good stuff I wish it was but it's not all right so we've got uh, some meatballs that I just chucked up uh, carrots broccoli things like that we cook those for a little while and then we're gonna throw in some of these udon noodles which I love these things are amazing um, they're basically pre-cooked Japanese style noodles, udon, and they're really good. I'm getting all kinds of garbage here, but trust me, it will be put away. So, I'm going to open this up. Got that fake butter in there. We're going to put some more in there. But so, four months on the road. Traveling in a van, SUV, whatever, can be very cheap, or it can be very expensive, depending on, uh, you know, things you do. I like to spend money, but, however, I don't have a lot of it right now, so I'm trying to be very cheap. 
The best thing about van life is you can move, you can go wherever you want, and just travel. Okay? Oh, sh shucks. I ain't missing that piece of meatball. It jumped out of there. But, guys, would I recommend van life to everybody? No. If you don't care about daily interaction, if you don't care that Say you have a family, you know, then it's probably not for you. But if you just want to travel the country and you have a little money saved up, go for it. You know what I mean? Now, I will say I, I try to be very frugal so being frugal you can be as cheap as heck obviously I mean if you just want to eat ramen noodle and that's it every day and I like ramen don't get me wrong I love ramen noodle But if you think you're going to come out here in some kind of vehicle, whatever it is, I would expect the cheapest you're going to be is $2,000 a month. And that's not traveling. If you want to go and travel, it's going to be probably twice that. You know, for my daily life, cooking like I do, um, I don't eat a lot, you know, and now being here towards Yuma, um, I'm trying to, I'm, my guess is I'm going down every four days, which that can be pretty cheap. Now you still have a bunch of things you have to pay for. I mean, you have to pay for car insurance, um, obviously gas, things like that. You know, and depending where you are, that's very expensive. A while back, oh, excuse me. I was in California and I paid like seven dollars and some odd cents for gasoline. And that was just regular gas. That wasn't diesel or anything else. So if you're traveling, everything is expensive. Now if you just want to go hide in the woods and you're good with like ramen and stuff like that. You know, this morning I had a a nice burrito again. Because I don't eat much, but you know, is what it is. A lot of people eat big meals all the time. So if you think about the cost of food, um, depending where you are, it can be very expensive. Like quartzite, things there are basically twice the price that you probably spend where you normally are. Now there are ways, again, to save money. These udon noodles that I get, they're cheap and they're really good. I really like them. Um, easy. I don't have to worry about uh, boiling water to do them or anything like that. And when you make it like a little stir fry, 
like I'm kind of doing right now. Nope. Lost my baggie. You know, really good. But after four months on the road this time, you know, it's getting tough. You know, I have to watch my, my budget. I have uh, things I put aside, money I paid, bought, uh, different stocks, bonds, things like that. You know, and but right now, I'm, I'm down 25% in the last month. So what's going to happen in a few days if that goes down 25% more? You know, not good. So, is what it is on things like that. Oh, gosh darn. That thing got hot as heck. But on a daily... Ouch! Alright, guys. That's too hot to hold. Ah. On a daily budget, You got to be careful, you know, and if you're coming out here with, you know, no money, nothing, and thinking YouTube is going to help you, it's probably not going to. Like I said, I've never made a dime from YouTube. I'm getting to the point that maybe I could, but odds are that maybe like literally like 10 bucks a month. You know, and 10 bucks a month, you know, that ain't going to help you. So. Okay, I think that's almost done. You know, being out here in places like this is beautiful. And I love it. Um, the LTVAs, if you just want to hang out in a campground and not move just sit around you can live cheap as heck you really can i mean this year it was 180 dollars for the ltva pass and then uh i had to buy the other pass 75 dollars to be down here in uh senator wash and i start out paying um Forty dollars for two weeks, so I paid a total of two hundred and sixty for the LTVA, and then another seventy-five for the center to wash area and the areas I've told you that you can use with that pass. If you didn't see the video, go back, look at it. I kind of explained the videos a little bit. Or, I'm sorry, the passes. Permits, whatever you want to call them. But, I just saw a guy here earlier. He had the LTVA pass on his van. He's been here a couple, couple nights. He did not have the other pass. So, technically, he was in violation of being down here in Senator Wash. Now, am I going to call him out? Obviously, no. I would never do that. None of my business. But if he gets caught, I don't know what the uh, problem is. But thing is, just do it right. So, guys, being in a van, whatever, van life, it can be very lonely, but it can be very fulfilling. I love being outside. I love to travel. I don't want to be in a city anymore. I just don't want to do it. Now, odds are down the road, I'm going to have to go back to work because obviously, uh, you know, my financials are not the best but again is what it is for you guys 
So what I'm saying is, van life is not always just, again, um, unicorns and rainbows. And it's a lot of days, just like you guys do at home. You know, you sit in your living room and relax and, you know, last two days, basically that's all I've done. And I love hiking. I love going everywhere and seeing what's out there to do. But when you get down to the point, you got to look at your money. So that's all I'm trying. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all I'm trying to tell you. So guys, this dish is just about done and it looks really good. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper to it uh, just because I think it needs it. And then I'm going to eat dinner and then I'm going to go sit outside, enjoy a fire and watch this beautiful uh, sunset again. So like I said, guys. Van life might not be for everybody, and it's not a easy thing to do financially or anything else. I mean, if you want to live on a dollar a day, if you can do that. All right, that's done. But it's not easy. It really isn't. And a lot of times it can be very lonely. Um, here in Center Wash, everybody is very, very friendly. Um, everybody says hi to me. We wave, talk, whatever. In the LTVAs, I have and have not had that. So, it just depends. But again, guys, don't think you can just move into a van or something and life is going to be great. It may or it may not. I'm just trying to be honest with you guys and tell you what real van life is really like. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I've, I don't know why I always have this issue, but it is. It can be very hard. Um, so I'm probably going to stay here another week. Uh, tomorrow, i got to go into town, do you know business, shower, and upload these videos so you guys can see them. But that's fan life, guys. It's it's not all that people think it's cracked out of, to be. And odds are, if you think you're going to get in a van, oh, sorry, start a YouTube channel and make a lot of money, um, odds are you're not going to. Okay? Like I said, I've, ne I've not made a dime ever from YouTube. Sorry, guys. I'm going to eat my dinner, and then I'm going to start a fire, and tomorrow we have to go to town and do day-to-day -day basis. But all right, guys, we'll see you uh, in a few minutes. All right, guys, this has really turned out to be a beautiful day. I had a great conversation with a couple guys that were, uh, you know, checking out spots. And they gave me an idea for a different spot um, in California around a hot spring. So instead of maybe next week leaving here and going to Phoenix, I may try out that new spot. Well, at least drive down there and check it out and show you around. But guys, like I said, four months being out, you know, it isn't always, again, 
unicorns and rainbows. But in my mind, it's the best way to live. If you can be out by yourself, meet some people, but enjoy nature and do that. And like you guys know, I love to hike. Um, it's amazing. But don't think you're going to come out and make a million dollars on YouTube. Sorry, guys. I'm going to end this video because I'm just going to relax and watch the uh, sun go down. I threw one of those fake logs in the fire pit. And then we have stuff to do in Yuma tomorrow. Sorry, guys. You guys have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's so ha I'm so amazed that I'm above 1,000. Let's go for two now. Come on, guys. Let's get me to 2,000. But I love you guys sharing, watching, commenting, everything there is. It's all right, guys. I was feeling down earlier, and just a conversation with those two nice gentlemen, just again after cooking dinner, eating a nice dinner, just again lifted my spirit, so I'm happy to say Jelly Bean's happy. All right, guys. We'll see you next time on Jelly Bean Outdoors.